I am excited to eat these, by the way. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. I know, I'm starving. <laughs> and also the way like you bit into it in your video. And it had that. I did not. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect it to be that juicy. I was like, whoa, like that was kind of crazy. Yeah. So, and then the skirt, what? I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. we can talk about this later. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're live, people. Can you guys hear us? Hello, guys. We got Freddy, Freddy Boy, Ola. What's up, Tree? How's it going? Let's see. Let's see if we're live. I am so excited. This prep work took forever. But <laughs> here, we, here we are. We made it. We made it. We made it. Okay, here we go. Hakuna Matata from Africa. What's up, Africa? Hi, Benny Chow. Hey, Olan. Good to see you. How's it going? Captain Rex, how are you guys? Adrian Gizmo. Hello, Sin Chow. How's it going, Miguel? Okay, I think we're live. That is cool. Okay, guys, Yay. I'm so excited. Awesome. To today we're making uh, dumplings. Um, I've got Teresa here, a.k.a. Tiki Eats. Is that right? Tiki Hi. Eats? Yeah. Cool. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and they like never fail to make me hungry. So uh, thank you for taking the time to you know show me how to make these dumplings. And yeah, I'll let you introduce yourself, and then let's get into it. Thank you. Um, my name's Teresa, aka Tiki Eats, as Lisa said. Um, and we are just going to hop right into these bulgogi dumplings. So these are kind of like a my take on the bibigo bulgogi dumplings, which I know have become kind of popular at Costco. Um, so I just kind of, you know, read the back of the package and I try to just recreate the flavors on my own. And I think they came out pretty well. So um, as Lisa will figure out in a little bit, so we can just, I guess, get started. Let's do it. So is awesome. bibigo the brand of the the brand of the dumplings that you're trying to recreate? Yes. So okay. Bibigo is a pretty popular, um, I mean, they make a bunch of stuff, but their frozen dumplings, I would say, are their most popular product. And they have all different types of flavors and different combinations, different like pleated looking ones. Like I know they make like flat ones, they make good ones for boiling, um, stuff like that. So they, um, but yeah, the, the bulgogi dumplings have been really popular in Costco from what I've heard. So um, that's why I wanted to just like okay, try it so out for myself. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can do it. <laughs> one last question before we start. So when you say yeah. bulgogi, is it is the B like a P? Like bulgogi? Um, the B is more of like, it's, a, it's, it's, like, it's like a soft B. It's bulgogi. So the l is kind of like a rl sound it's kind of a very unique kind of um i guess what is it called like it's unique for for korean uh phonetics so it's kind of uh difficult to Pigo say for people who don't really Pigogi. yeah purgogi is there a role <laughs> okay let's just get into it i'm gonna <laughs> no yeah it's like a really okay. soft b but it's there okay Kay. so First off, we have, um, we're going to create our filling. So okay. everything into a bowl. We are going to have ground beef. This is half a pound. Half a pound. And then we have half a cup of um, crumbled up dried tofu. Or not dried. Yeah, well, this is like firm tofu that I kind of pressed to get all the water out and then crumbled. And then... We have some glass noodles cooked and chopped. So they kind of look like this. Ooh, mine have kind of dried out a little bit. Yeah, mine dried out too. So um, I kind of hydrated it with a little bit of water. Should be gotcha. okay. By the way, chat, if um, you guys have any questions for Teresa, let me know um, and we'll answer them while we're doing this. Yeah. Okay, and then next we up. have some scallions, three, sta okay. three scallions chopped all right and then we have chopped onions this is half a cup okay and then a quarter cup of carrots chopped oh gosh 
get every last bit in there. And then um, half a tablespoon of minced garlic and then one teaspoon of minced ginger. So I just kind of have them both in here, but. Okay. It's like, kind of makes me sad because we I spent so much time prepping these, but then they just go <laughs> together so quickly. All that hard I work, know. you know? Just look I how quickly. Know. I love it, or not I love it, but I actually, you know, when you spend hours and hours and hours on a dish or something that you make and then you, it goes down in two seconds, not even. Right. Okay. Um, and then we have our grated pear. So this is grated Asian pear. It's just a quarter cup. And that will bring a really nice sweetness to our filling and also kind of help with that juiciness. Um, and the filling as well. And then, okay, and then we have our soy sauce. So we have two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, someone asked what we're making. What are we making, Teresa? We are making prugogi dumplings. Prugogi is um, a traditional Korean dish. It's actually, I wanna say the word prugogi very lightly because Prugogi translates to fire meat. Uh, so you, typically it's marinated thinly sliced beef that you just cook on a grill or um, you pan fry saute, I guess. Um, so I know a lot of people might get upset or whatever that this isn't prugogi, we're not like pan frying anything, but it's kind of a similar marinade. Um, the flavors are kind of there. The Asian pear is there, the brown sugar, soy sauce, sesame oil, like all the kind of classic flavors that you would use in a prugogi marinade. So that's why I guess it's called the prugogi dumplings. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. And then okay, quick, we have, yeah. Quick question. What is your favorite mm -hmm. food from M Miguel? Miguel, sorry. Miguel, my favorite food. My favorite food has to be, um, I'm a huge noodle person. I love yes. noodles. Yes. Um, it's like, I can eat noodles every single day no questions asked like three times a day and my favorite right now is called naengmyeon which is a cold buckwheat noodle soup it's korean and it goes really well with prugogi actually you eat it with korean barbecue it's like a chilled an icy broth with these like really thin and chewy springy noodles and there's like a boiled egg on there some daikon cucumber like it's just so refreshing and really good and i mean i can nice. eat it every day do you, do you have the <laughs> recipe on your page I do, yeah, okay. I do. I had right. it, um, I just posted it. It was the last recipe. I did like a little summer series of some of my favorite summertime dishes. Um, and I think it's the last one on there. I had to save the best for last, so. Perfect, I'm going to recreate yeah. it. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yay. Cold noodles. They also make really good um, packaged ones too. So when I'm in like a time crunch, like I just get the ones from the store and then, you know, just do it up like that. Perfect, okay, what's next? Yeah. Uh, we have one tablespoon of sesame oil. Do, do, do. Now we'll bring like a really nice nuttiness to the filling. And then after that, we have um, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. And a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah, I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. Okay, I like eyeballing. <laughs> Honestly, that's how I do 99% of my cooking. I just kind of eyeball everything and then, you know, just hope for the best. Okay, we got Bob okay. Ross in the house asking if you like, awesome. if you can handle spice. Yes, I love spicy things. I'm not like, I'm not like Lisa, like out here trying to do my <laughs> spice tolerance. Like, I don't know if I can do that, but I do love Prudoc noodles. Um, I know which you're a fan of, um, but I don't know if I could do like the scorpion pepper or like the Carolina Reaper type thing. Like that to me is just insane, but you can do those. <laughs> Maybe one day. I, I mean, one day. I, had to, I had to build my spice tolerance to like get to this point, which I think, no, I know is working for sure, so. yeah. Definitely. I mean, if you, if you ever if you want to build eat, it, <laughs> if you can eat, like, what was that? The the chip that you ate, the hottest yeah. chip. Actually, one sec. I'll show you this. Okay. Yeah, that was really crazy that you could. I was like, yeah, 
my friend has it at her house and it's just kind of sitting there and I'm like, yeah, not even gonna try. Yeah, so this right here is the 2021 oh, version. I haven't tried it yet. It's I just keep one, it it's just, it's yeah, just it's one just chip, chip in that thing. Yeah, this Holy is cow. it. And wow. it's spicier than last year's apparently. Ew. So in this, what yeah. It, what's the spice blend in there? Or the peppers? Um, it's got Carolina Reaper pepper and scorpion pepper. Mm -hmm. This straight from hell chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Oh my so, god. So yeah. yeah no. I got That's that a no for me. <laughs> well, if you're ever down for it, let me know. Okay, well, sorry. I will let you know. You're good. Um, okay, and then I think the last bit of it is just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I just kind of start with a small, just little sprinkle because we have the soy sauce in there already for um, the saltiness of it. Gotcha. And then we're also gonna make a little test patty just to make sure the seasonings are good. And I always do this for like, you know, tortellini fillings, dumpling fillings, like anything of that nature, because you don't want to make, you know, 30 dumplings and then have it not be well seasoned or overly seasoned. And it's just gotcha. not for a good time. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle of sprinkle of salt and then some little scrunches of black pepper okay all right and then um i usually use chopsticks to mix my dumpling because i don't know if this is true or not but i know if you go in like one circular direction counterclockwise i think um it creates like a really juicy filling so whoa you really don't i, I don't know if it's true but okay. i've seen Counter it um counterclockwise so i just kind of yeah all in one direction i think it helps the um the protein strands not get too overworked um in the meat oh. so it'll help create a juicier texture and i think i need to break up my meat Ooh, it smells good. Yay. I know it's like raw, yeah, but the seasoning is already smell. smelling good. I know. You I wouldn't, I wouldn't it just eat this straight out of here. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Ooh, that's a great question. Are we talking alcoholic or non-alcoholic? I think just any. Let's do, let's do both. <laughs> What's your favorite non-alcoholic okay. drink? non-alcoholic drink i mean oh man i'm so boring sometimes i love a good seltzer water like my favorite is topo chico because of all the really big bubbles in there um which is boring i want to say something like bubble tea but i'm just not like a huge bubble tea person like yeah. i never crave it like how a lot of people are like oh my god boba 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 but i'm not really like that um yeah like i love i always I'm looking for like a good seltzer. Yeah, yes. I'm just boring. I'm kind of old, so. Um. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, for alcoholic, I would say probably just like a glass of rose. Also boring. Yeah, I just my, kind of settled my down, I guess, friend over time. loves rose for sure. Yes, I'm always. Okay, mine I think is all mixed up now. So it kind of looks like mine is this. As, yeah, kind of just looks like this, nice. like a regular, regular feeling. Yay, it looks. You know looks what? Would, okay, you know what would be kind of cool to try with this mm. is like making a burger. Yeah, like, making it like a patty well, and then putting it into a burger. We are gonna kind of do that right now. So. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're testing we're it out. Do a little little test patty. Yeah. So I yeah, this is something I always like to do um yeah but i make it like super duper small let me just get some stuff out of the way okay and then i have a little a baby pan <laughs> i do too somewhere <laughs> just for this so. purpose But like it's um, it's like 
top heavy or, or side oh. heavy. Oh, that's handle so cute. Heavy. Yeah, handle heavy. I see it. Handle heavy. It's like rocking back and forth. Okay. What is your favorite thing? What is, What are your favorite TV shows? Let's do that one. Ooh, my favorite TV shows. I have a lot of different types of favorite TV shows, like ones where I'm just kind of, I'm trying to figure out how to balance this on here. It's, I think, too small. But um, my favorite, like, kind of background music, or background music, background, kind of, like, white noise TV show is probably The Office. Like, a lot of people are, like, Parks and Rec, oh, yeah. those kinds of shows. Um, I just kind of have it on in the background. Um... I have to say Squid Game because that's like the show I just recently watched and I know that's everybody else I in the world right now. Just binged it last Saturday. Oh my god. Just all nine episodes. <sighs> Wasn't it so good? It was. It was amazing. Yeah, like I... <laughs> Funny story, I went camping with my family and we went to the beach and we ended up not even going to the beach we actually just ended up binge watching it in our uh, my parents have an rv <laughs> yeah so we ended up binging it in the rv on like this tiny tv um and we watched all nine episodes instead of camping for okay which and you the reason why we went you there. are fluent mm -hmm. in korean right um i i don't want to say fluent but i am like 50 50 i'm intermediate so you under so I understand. You understand okay so i, I understand heard everything mm-hmm I heard that the the subtitles and the like the the translation was really botched on the English part. They were. Dang. They were. There are some parts that makes I'm me like, sad. What? Like that doesn't translate to that at all. That's so weird. That makes me okay. sad because even though the show is really good, I'm I'm wondering like how much better it would have been if it was if, if the correctly. subtitles were actually correct. Yeah, there were definitely. Yeah. I mean, they were like very loose translations. I would say. They weren't like super off or anything. Um, gotcha. Yeah. So I have my my little baby pan ready. Um, I just okay. did a little bit of oil and then I just kind of like smeared it around with a paper towel so it's not overly too oily. Oh, okay. And then I'm just gonna, yeah. Gonna sweet. Just drop this guy in here. Make a baby, little baby patty. Yes, a nice sizzle sound. Yes. Are they talking about Squid Game? Yes, we are. We sure are. We're not going to do any spoilers, but yes, we're talking about it. <laughs> I just thought it was so crazy that it was like the number one kind of show in the world. Yeah, not right only now. for like a foreign movie on Netflix, but also yeah. like the I mean, number one movie. Yeah, crazy. Oh, I'm gonna get a little spatula to flip this. How is Squid Game? Jay Dizzle, Squid Game is amazing. Very um, good, highly recommend. Yes. Don't want to say too much about it though, in case it ruins it. But I think I'll try making those, um, what do you call the little. Oh, sugar the Dalgona things. candy? Dalgona candy, yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna try making those. That's actually, um,. A game in Korea, like they sell them at food stalls, and then um, if you can actually poke out the shape in it without cracking it, then you get a free one. So that's kind of where oh, that nice. game kind of originated from. Yeah. I didn't press my patty together well enough. Oh no! Yeah, I'm trying to keep it as in sh as intact as possible, but it is a looser filling without a lot of binding because. The real binder, I guess, is kind of like the noodles and the tofu yeah. that are still kind of loose, so. Oh well. We're just tasting yeah. it. Yeah, just a little, a little taste. How many years have you been cooking? From Jake Johnson. Um, oh man. I have, so I went to culinary school i would say back in like 2012 you went so. to culinary so, school i did oh my yeah. god so, <laughs> pre-covid time um i was working in restaurants i was like doing the whole 
restaurant thing. But um, yeah, after I got like laid off and stuff like that, I was like, I don't know if this is something I really want to pursue anymore. I was just tired, burnt out. And um, so I've been doing it for, yeah, I would say like nine or 10 years or so. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. This is definitely new territory for me, though. Like, I'm not very used to, like, home cooking or cooking at home because um, I was always working in the restaurant that I was like, ah, I don't really want to, you know, go home and cook a meal for myself. So this, yeah. like, home cooking kind of style that I'm kind of taking this approach on is a new... It's something that I'm, like, learning along the way. So, um, Well, I was you're definitely... doing a great job at it, so there's Thank that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I wasn't, like... I love Korean food, but I never really, really learned how to cook it or anything. So it's, I like to think that I'm learning with the audience. So I'm just, you know, learning along the way. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah. Okay. So okay. my little patty is done. I'm going to try a little, it's like crumbling apart, but um, I'm going to try a little taste test. Oop, 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 oop. How is it? It's pretty good. Hot. Ha 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 ha. Very hot. Mmm. Really good. Whoa. Yay. So I think like this flavor, because we're pan frying it, is kind of more the flavor of what prugogi would be like. Because um, it gets that nice crisp, like crust off the uh, pan. Mm -hmm. It's still just as good. When we put it as mm. filling. I'll put this over here. Do you have any suggestions for like Korean grills to get? Oh, we got to make the dumplings. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm over here. Like, <laughs> like oh yeah, we're done. We're Red done. We don't have the dumplings do that we don't have. <laughs> My bad. Korean grill, like the um, like the Korean barbecue ones. Uh yeah, we just need. Same as that, or like to grill meats as well. Hmm. For grilling meat, I mean, honestly, when I'm just making like prugogi or something like that at home, I'm using just like a regular pan and, uh, you know, sauteing it on like medium high heat. It makes a perfect, you know, sear on the meat. But Korea, like if you want to do Korean barbecue at home, they make those really nice stoves. Um, they sell it at like the Asian market or like Amazon. Um, some of them even come with like little divots on the end where you can put like corn cheese um, And it also comes with like a little what makes it special is that it comes with like a little drain that all the fat kind of um, Gets drained out of it. So it doesn't Stick to the pan or not. It doesn't like swim in its own fat and juices and all that good stuff um, So it gets a really nice sear on the on the meat. I like the ones that have like um, the hot pot in it as well. <laughs> Oh yeah, those are those so are cool. Yeah, that is like my next investment. Um. Anyways, oh, this is the uh, dumpling wrapper I'm using. Okay, I couldn't find uh, that same exact one, but yeah, this is similar, it's right? Fine. Yeah, similar. I would say the only the difference I think between uh, like Korean mandu wrappers versus like wonton wrappers or like even maybe even gyoza. I could be wrong. I could be so wrong, but I know between wonton wrappers, like these are a little bit thicker. Um, I know like sometimes wontons are like the, 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 the wrapper is like really thin. So it has like a, I guess a better chew. Gotcha. To it. Yeah. Okay. This down here. I might mess this up pretty badly. I'm it's okay. Very good I can show you like things. a couple different folds. Um, okay. We could do like something easier if you want. <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll we see can, how far we'll, we'll try. This. We'll just try one and then see if it works, and then if not, then we can we can figure something out. Um, okay. So, okay. little wrapper, and yes. then I do about a tablespoon of filling. Um, or so. Yeah, that's a tablespoon. Lot. Okay. Yeah, like roughly, and then from there. Yeah, I just kind of like eyeball what a tablespoon might look like. And then from there, I wet just the tip of one 
or the middle, the top middle of one edge, just like a little dot. Okay. And then fold it upwards or fold it in half. And just the and just pinch the top. Just the tip there. So the yep, just the tip. Okay. So the ends are exposed. And then from there, this is where it might get a little bit complicated. So I kind of use a little bit of water just kind of on the outside like that. And then I pleat inwards about three times. So you just kind of fold it on top of itself. So this is pleat number one. So it kind of looks like that. And then number two, and then number three. Oh God. The first one always comes out wonky. I feel like you have to just keep I thought my first one was my best one, and then the others. Oh, really? Up. Yeah. Yeah, and then you do the same thing to the other side. So Ooh, left left um, side. Left side, but you pleat inwards for one. Man, I just got my nails done, and this is like not the time to get my nails done. <laughs> I need like stubby fingers. Okay. Yeah. Um, could use some help, but uh, you know. Oh. Oh, wait, let me see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a dumpling. That's honestly what it we're does. For. I mean, it's better than anything I've ever done. So we'll, we'll take that as well. Yay. Okay, so this is what mine. Came. So my first one is always a little wonk, but it looks like this. It's like a little moon shape, I guess. It's hard to, it's hard to show. Looks like that. Nice. Beautiful. That, 10 out of 10 for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Just... All right, guys. Got any questions? We're going to be doing about 10 of these. 10 of these. Let's do eight of these. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions, y'all? Oh, my gosh. What's up, Celeste? Geo geometry. What's your favorite Filipino food? Favorite Filipino food? I would say pancit. Or, yes. no, I take it back. Lumpia? Yes. I don't know. Filipino Yum. food is so good. I love Filipino food. I do too. Honestly, I just, I, I like love all food. So, I mean, I do like Lumpia. To... Um, yes. But chicken adobo hits different. Oh, yes. It does hit different. You're right. Yes. Looks so good. Ooh, oh, oh. What's your favorite yeah. color? My favorite color is yellow. I just like how bright it is. I used to hate the color yellow because when I was a kid, because I was like, oh, it looks like pee. Um, <laughs> but now I'm like, I love yellow. It's like so bright and it's so happy. Like you can't be sad and look at the color yellow, I feel like. True. So, yeah. Mine is black. That's a good one. I would say the majority of my wardrobe is black, so. All right, dumpling number two has been completed. Do you ever cook Indian food? I don't. I would love to learn though. I just, I get intimidated sometimes by all the spices. And, yes, um, exactly how I am too. Oh yeah, I'm just like, man, like what if I use too much of something that I like mess up everything? Because I know these spices are like, they're crazy jam packed with flavor. Um, I'm exactly the same way. I would love to learn. Out of all the restaurants I've ever worked in, I have not worked in like a Indian kind type of restaurant. So, would you say like Korean's your favorite um, cuisine to cook? Um, yeah, I would. I mean, like Asian in particular is my favorite cuisine to cook. Like, um, I used to work at like a like Japanese modern Japanese inspired restaurant. Uh -huh. um, and that was like my favorite. Um, so I really love Japanese food too. Nice. And stuff like that. But um, for a very long time, I would say I kind of was just in denial of um, cooking Asian food. Like I was very pressed on, I was, I mean, this is also a long time ago um, when I was like, I'm only going to cook French food because like people don't take chefs seriously unless they cook chef French food. Uh, and stuff like that. Interesting. That was like back in the day. But um, yeah, so I, you know, I did that for a long time. And then I was like, you know what? I should like, you know, be more in touch with my heritage. 
what got you into cooking? Like, why did you go to culinary school? Um, if you don't mind. So me I went to. Yeah, no, not at all. So I went to. I was. Just, um, I did my first year of college, and I just didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, and then I started working at like a little restaurant, just like as a server and a host, like just working in front of the house. And I just, I fell in love, I think, with just the restaurant industry back then. I was like, wow, these people are so passionate. And this was like a very small, like little mom and pop kind of Italian. And I was like, wow, this is so nice. And like, I started getting really interested in the food and like all the recipes that the chef was doing. So I think that really motivated me to do culinary school because I wasn't really doing anything else at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and then, you know, now here we are and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> here, here you are. Here I am. Here I am on Instagram. So now you're a food content creator. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny how like everything um, happened the way that it did. So oh, but sure. I am very grateful. Okay. How many the dumplings time, do you have? Sorry, the same time my AirPod dropped out, my something oh. dropped in my uh, oh, I have, no. I'm about to finish four. Okay, nice. We are on the same page. Nice. They're probably not as pretty as yours, but you know, it's a work in progress. Work in progress. Just What's takes, your, just takes some movie? practice. What's that? Maria is asking, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Oh my god. Okay. I have to really think about this. I, you know what? I'm not a really big movie person, which I know is like terrible to say. That's um, not terrible I've to always, say. <laughs> I just sometimes watch movies and then I'm like, what did I just watch? Like, I don't even remember <laughs> what just happened. If that makes sense. Like, I'll leave a movie theater and be like, what did, what did I just watch? Um... <laughs> My favorite movie, Ugh. I would have to, I mean, okay, there is a movie that I do watch like every year and it's Forrest Gump. I just always yes. watch it. It's Heck like yes. my feel good movie. I don't know. I just always feel so good when I watch it. It's long, but I, I always make time to watch it. So I guess it's my favorite movie because I watch it like a lot. I do like that movie. Yeah, it's such a All good right, next movie. one's a tough question. I don't know if you're ready for this. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Is, I'm ready. This is from Demon. Okay. They're asking, waffles I'm or ready. pancakes? <laughs> that's, that's actually the easiest question so far. Waffles all day. <laughs> oh, okay. Waffles all day. I know there's a huge debate, but hear me out. So okay. waffles let's, let's hear have those ridges that you it can like trap in all the maple syrup like pancakes are like a flat surface that just sops up the maple syrup that doesn't even you know just goes all over the plate and i also like how waffles can get really crispy so i'm like a huge texture eater i love crispy things um oh i should probably put my dumplings over here so people so you guys can see them um but i love crispy things especially i'm just like i'm not a very big mushy person uh so pancakes to me are kind of mushy <laughs> if that makes sense but um totally makes sense i'm actually on the yeah. same exact page for all the same exact reasons that is good that means that you know we have good taste <laughs> exactly <laughs> sorry pancake people i love pancakes sorry though. don't get me wrong yeah, I sorry, love I'm not a pancake person. It's not for me. Ooh, this is a fun one. Um, what's your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza. <gasps> oh man. Okay. I I know what's my least favorite pizza, which is pineapple pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I actually just, was gonna guess it was that. I was gonna say, is it Hawaiian pizza? No, or something? it's not. I really hate that. I really hate it. Um, I just, I also don't like things that are like so super sweet and on something super super savory. I'm like, I'm not a huge like fruit like on my salads or like pineapple on pizza, like stuff like that. Like I just don't do it. I can't. Um, but you know, to each their own. It's true. I like a really. My favorite pizza, I would say, is the, it's like prosciutto and arugula 
with a really nice like balsamic glaze on there. Do you like, do you like uh, Neapolitan style pizza? Yes. yes. I love it. I love Me it. Too. But I also love like a good just Domino's pizza. Yeah. Like, sometimes it just like hits. Sometimes it does. It just, I feel like we would have very similar like so tastes. Besides the fact yeah. that you don't like the pineapple on pizza, I I love it. You like the pineapple on the pizza? Yeah, Hawaiian pizza. Oh I love. My God. I but our favorite like pizza these. would probably yeah okay. to say it. like I love Neapolitan quick fired pizza, simple. Yes. You know, not so greasy. Good. Yeah, so good. Yeah, I love it when like the pizza has the big bubbles on there. Yes. A little, kind favorite, of like some yeah. burnt edges a little bit, just a tad bit yes. from the fight from the wood fire. From the fire, yeah. so good, super good. Yeah, I was about to say like, man, you like the pineapple on the pizza? I might have to like leave. <laughs> might have to just leave the live. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, I'm excited to eat these dumplings. Don't leave yet until you finish teaching me how to make this. I'm just kidding. All right, someone's asking, is taco a sandwich? If so, would that mean dumplings are sandwiches? These are tough Ooh. questions, guys. These are, these are really hard ones. I, man, I mean, I want to say no because it's a taco. Like, tacos are tacos. But I don't wait, know. Like, I don't wait, know. I, chat. Can uh, chat? Can you guys look up the definition of sandwich? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got one more to go. Yay! Me too. Wow. <laughs> we are on the same yeah. pace right now. <laughs> Have you ever tried African food? I have, yes. Um, only like once or twice though. So, and it's been a really long time. So I don't really remember, but I do remember it was delicious. I just, it's actually weird. Um, there's not like, I mean, actually I'm in the DC area. So there is a lot of food around here, like very like multicultural, uh -huh. um, but I just haven't like really seeked it out. I just, I actually recently, not recently, but I moved back during COVID um, so I'm still like, there's a lot of places that were just closed or, you know, COVID things. So I wasn't able to really explore as much as I would have liked. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. Here it is. A sandwich is a food typically consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese or meat placed on or between slices of bread. Okay. So by that so it's definition, the there's no cheese in this. No cheese. So, wait, taco, I'm sorry. We're answering the taco question first. Is a taco, taco has cheese, yes, okay. Taco has cheese, but is a tortilla bread? Oh yeah, it's not bread. Oh, that's another question. Oh See, boy. Is, would, that be, would that be considered? See, I don't know. I don't think most people would consider it as a bread. Now we have to look up the definition of bread, right? <laughs> <laughs> this could go, like yeast, this could go for flour, quite a I while. Mean, this, yeah. Very, a lot of interpretations right now. I'm gonna make one extra one just for, you know, just in case one decides to not make it. Good call. Tortilla is this one bread. ends up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would say tortilla is not bread. Oh, oh. What about a gyro then? I don't think a gyro. I don't think gyros so. Gyros don't have cheese in them, do they? I mean, for the most no. part? No. No. Okay. Man, we're they really using our brain like power today, yogurt? guys. I, I, this is a lot of brain thinking right now. Okay. I think, I think I have it. Okay, I gotta finish this one. We're good to go. Do you put okay. ranch or ranch or ketchup on pizza? Um, ketchup. <laughs> I've I tried it. On ketchup. I actually Is like it. Good? it. Yeah, really? but I like sriracha. I like okay. sriracha more, but ketchup. Yeah, I, like. I was gonna say sriracha and ranch. I put both of them on there. Um, and this is this might be a hot take, but I kind of like cold pizza better than. Yes, let's go. Pizza. Uh, actually, actually, hold on. I don't like it more, but I do like okay. cold pizza. I just did a video on this. I think I saw um, that. I think I saw it. Um, yeah. Because I remember seeing it. I'm like, I have to talk about this with Lisa. Yes. Um, but I 
am kind of weird. Like one time I ordered Domino's and I got it and I just immediately put it in the fridge and then ate it the next day. Like didn't even eat one. That I cannot do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like got it for the sole purpose of eating it the next day. I was like, I That's so interesting. I just I, I just prefer the cold bread with the cold cheese and the cold tomato sauce. Interesting. I don't know. It just tastes really good. Also, I'm gonna I like wash it. my hands. I like really it, quick. but I like hot pizza and then cold pizza. Okay. You're basically, you're basically getting like two different meals. That is very true. Totally okay. true. Okay. I want to. Lasagna or spaghetti? I would pick spaghetti. Spaghetti all day, every day. Yes, let's go. Not even a question. <laughs> I mean, I do love lasagna though. I do love lasagna, but like I said, I'm a very like big noodle person. So I just really like anything in the noodle family. I would say pasta, pasta is one of those things. Okay. I've never made lasagna. Maybe I should add that to a list of things to make. Oh yeah. It's definitely a labor of love, so. Okay, maybe I don't want to do it then. <laughs> All right, are we ready to pan fry? Yes, we are. Sorry, it's looking for something. Okay. okay. Or did you want to? Um, so I have my cornstarch slurry like ready to go. Oh um, yeah. Um. Yes. Give me a sec. What's in yeah. it again? It is a quarter cup of water, uh, one teaspoon of cornstarch, and one teaspoon of all-purpose flour, and then just a little pinch of salt, which I should put in there too. Okay, I'm going like to be guesstimating sprinkle. everything because my yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing. All right, so a quarter cup of water, mm -hmm. and then how much cornstarch? Uh, one teaspoon. One teaspoon of each. Flour and cornstarch. Okay. This is about a teaspoon? Yes? Mm -hmm. Probably hard to tell. Teaspoon of cornstarch. Yeah. So the water is going to evaporate anyway. Um, the water is just like really there to be, I guess, the binder of the cornstarch. I mean, yeah, it does like activate the cornstarch and the flour in some kind of way, but the water, most all the water is going to come out of it. So. Gotcha. It doesn't have to be like super, super exact. Cornstarch, um, flour, water. And a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Okay. Yes. And then um, for our pan, we also have to get a lid for it so it can so we can steam steam the dumplings after we pan fry them. Perfect. I actually have that this time. Awesome. <laughs> burger or pasta? Burger or pasta? Pasta. I'm gonna say pasta every. I'm gonna say like noodles and pasta every single time. Agreed. <laughs> so this is it for this mix, and you just that creates yeah. that little skirt. Yep. Okay. So when all the water evaporates, yeah, the the only thing that's left really in there is the cornstarch and the flour, and then I'll kind of create that really crispy crispy bits. All right. Are we ready to cook? Yeah, sorry, my cat's doing something crazy right now. Oh no, it's okay. I was like, oh. Um, no, go one sec, actually. Okay. Take your time. Ah, oh, screw it. He's just being himself. Okay, so I've got oil in the pan. Yes. Okay. So, but yeah, let me turn on this. Oop. Should this be medium, okay. low, high? I would say medium, just to be okay. safe. Um, because these will actually crisp up a lot quicker. Um, I would say than you would think. So, and also because we're making the crispy skirt, we want to make it. I guess like we want to get the crispy bottoms just like half crispy. And then finish the crispiness so the, the dumplings don't get burnt, I guess, on the bottom. Gotcha. Yeah, so we just want to do like a very light golden brown. So my pan is hot or it's heating up. Okay. 
I'm just gonna do. I think mine's getting really hot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. Yeah, Is go it, for it. Should it be the side that we pleated or not? Does it matter? Um, <clears throat> I like to kind of here. I'm about to drop them in here too. I I like to like arrange it in like a circle, I guess, and they're all kind of going in the same direction. Okay. Okay, mine's not hot yet, but I gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, I kind of just like want to make them all go the same kind of way. Okay. Make a nice little circle and then it might be too hot. Yeah, we can turn it down a little bit then. Okay, there we go. Please do not burn, guys. Yes, no burning today. So. Oh, they're already like hand fried. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. lower it down. Yeah, lower it down. Yeah, because I mean, they crisp up super, super fast. I mean, like super fast. I would say maybe, let's do it on low just to be safe. Watch my cat. Okay. Um, I am actually. Okay, it's all right. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, they're like, it's like super fast. It's like a minute, not even. Let me see. Yeah, see, mine are already like golden brown, so I'm actually gonna turn this way down. Pineapple on pizza. Uh, we just talked about it. Yes for me, no for Teresa. <laughs> yeah, that's a no for me. Okay, so it's like pretty much, mine is already crispy on the bottom. Same. So I'm gonna just pour in the cornstarch. Make sure you mix it up so all the cornstarch is like floating, I guess, in the water. And then very quickly, we're gonna pour it in and then put the lid on top. Very quickly, okay. So stir the mix. Yeah. Stir the mix and then, yeah, we're gonna- the, all of it in? Yep, I pour the whole thing in there. And then put the lid on top. Yeah. Oh, and man. then that will I'm help. I'm excited for this. Yay. And then I like to keep it on like a low temperature when I do this part, just so it doesn't like burn and do what it's do with the thing. Gotcha. Oh man, I am excited. I am like did, on a are weird. Are you checking or? Yeah, I'm like on a weird slant, so like all my crispy bits like went to this end. <laughs> gotcha. I'm trying to like. Yeah. Now we wait. What in the world, side light? Okay, this is an interesting one. Would you mm -hmm. rather be locked in a room with a bunch of ingredients and in and a kitchen forever, or live a normal life with high risk of dying at any moment? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's a okay. that's an interesting one. For the first one, so I have no like contact with the human world like at all, like no like phone or no nothing. Like I just am in a room with a kitchen. And ingredients forever. That's what it sounds like. Would you rather be okay. locked in a room with a bunch of ingredients and a kitchen forever, or, or live a normal life? And and have the and m maybe die every second. Oh man, Any I second, don't even yeah. know. Because then I would. I feel like if I was the second one, if I chose the second one, I would just be afraid to do anything with anybody because I might die. Maybe the first one, so I have like peace of mind and I don't go crazy. But I might go crazy if I'm locked in a room. I don't know. This is a very tough question. But I'm going to go with really the first tough. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check the skirt to make sure things are happening. What does yours look like? It looks like a... S it's still all there, basically. Okay, so then you could take off the lid and then just okay. finish cooking so we can allow the, the rest of the water to like evaporate from the, uh, from the skirt. It looks so good. I'm just staring Yay. at it. Oh, I need to get a picture. Hold on for my. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna like try to scoop this around a little bit. Ooh, dancing or singing? Are you a good dancer or singer? No. <laughs> I was not blessed with those kinds of. With either things. one? With either one, unfortunately. So the way that I positioned my dumplings, I kind of made like a little well in the middle on accident and then I actually poured all the cornstarch in there so it kind of just all like went there 
kind of like scoot it around. I think I okay. overestimate a quarter cup of water. Oh, that's okay. It's all gonna come out. It's all gonna evaporate eventually. Okay. I'll, throw this. I'll turn the heat up just a tad bit. Yeah. He's very uh, powerful. Yes, we both we have both seen Squid Game. Very good. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, would you rather have to eat spring rolls for a whole month or steak for a whole month? Spring rolls. I nice. love, 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 love spring rolls so much. Same. Plus, you can like change things. I, I mean, if you can yeah. change the ingredients of the spring rolls, you can put anything you want in it. Yeah, exactly. So my skirt is like burning on one side, which is very strange. I think it's this this uh, stove. It's like very uneven flame. I'm just gonna do it off to the side. Tacos or burritos? Ooh, that's a tough one. Because I love both. Oh, man. I would say tacos, just because you can get, like, a bunch of different ones. Like, you can get, like, carne asada, and then you can get, you know, the lingua, and you can all get all the different meats. Agreed. The chicken, shrimp, fish, I mean, you can get everything. Yeah, I just recently, it was just National Taco Day on um, Monday, Ooh, and it was, uh -huh. I just ordered, like, five different <gasps> types of tacos, and they were all so good. Oh my god. Man, I didn't know that. There was one that had a mix of chorizo and shrimp in it, and I Ooh. had never had that combo before, but that sounds so good. Spot. Yeah, that sounds it's really nice. good. Is your uh, is your stuff doing things? Is it doing things, the, the dumplings? I mean, it's still cooking. I think it's okay. evaporating. There's bubbles, but I think the yeah. liquid's starting to go away, so that's good. Yay. So we never have to somewhere. flip these. Yeah, you don't have to. Um, you could just kind of like slide it onto a plate, which is nice. I'm gonna. Uh, I was like, should I try to attempt one? But I don't know if I can. Uh, samosa or butter chicken? Ooh. I think butter chicken. Because I like taking the sauce and sopping it up with the, all the rice. Ooh, yes. But I don't know. Samosas are so good, too. They're both really good. Butter chicken is good. one where I don't even chew because it's so good. It's I'm yeah, like I'm just inhaling it. it. Inhaling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How is yours looking? Get, mine's starting to get a little crispy. It's definitely still a little bit wet in some places because this very uneven flame I have going on. Mine's like crispy on one end, like it's done cooking on one side. So this skirt will... It won't burn, right? I mean, as long as the, um, the flame is kind of low enough, it should be okay. It should be okay. okay. The skirt is think, kind of a... Uh... I think I have it low enough. Okay, the skirt is a very tedious thing for some reason. Like sometimes it works out really well for me and then sometimes it doesn't, so. What would you say out. is the most difficult dish you've ever cooked? Most diffi difficult dish I've ever cooked. Um, man. I feel like there's a lot. <laughs> oh. So I'm not a baker like at all. I'm very bad at like pastry things. And my first job ever was working as a pastry, like an assistant Ooh, pastry yeah. um, cook. Cause it was just like the only job, I really wanted to work at this one restaurant. And I was like, I'll do whatever it takes to work here. And this is like straight out of culinary school. So they're like, yeah, okay, we have a position, uh, but a pastry. I'm like, oh, great. Okay, and um, chocolate souffle was on the menu and it was all made to order. So if somebody ordered a chocolate souffle, like you had to make it from like from whipping the egg whites to, you know, folding in, like melting, doing a double boil of the chocolate and the egg yolks and 
It was a nightmare and I still couldn't get, like after doing it for six months, I couldn't get the souffle to rise evenly for some reason. Like I tried everything in the, in every like French cookbook I've, I read and I studied and I just couldn't, I couldn't get it. Um, so yeah, things that souffle, I'm not very good at. Oh man. Um, yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds tough. I have not it's tried hard. making any like pastry dishes or anything yet. It's it is definitely very very different like a very different type of cooking it's very scientific and you have to like you know kind of it depends on where you live like what the humidity levels are like how hot it is that day it's ah. like there's so many different yeah variables that go into baking that i'm just like yeah this is not for me like i did not enjoy this at all <laughs> well good thing you tested it out so you know you don't like it yeah, I was like, you know what? Like, I already kind of knew in the back of my brain that I was like, ah, I don't want to do it, but I really want to work here. So um, I was like, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. That's true. Um, but yeah, it. I still like have nightmares about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not good. Yeah. I'm like, I'm never making a souffle ever again. That should be a video. Where you say you'll Super. never do it again, but then you actually do it again. And then I That's, do it? Oh, God. But you should tell the story of why, like, what you just told me. That would be a really cool yeah. video, I think. That was really interesting. I'm, like, kind of, I'm kind of scared. Kind of scared to attempt it again. I haven't done but it, if you, and it's been, it has been, like, seven years or so. But if you years. mess up, like, the next, you could say, okay, next time I'll nail it. And you could do another video until yeah. you nail it. That's true. That's true. That would be kind of cute. I right, say go for it. How's yours? All looking? right, I'll do it just for you. Um, I think mine's done. Yeah, do it just for me. I think mine, mine doesn't do that. Okay, so yours still needs a little bit more then. Yeah, it should like all be kind of in one little. I don't know how to. Whoop. Should be all in like one. Uh, I guess. Okay, yeah. No. They should all kind of move together on the thing. Yeah, I think mine is done. Uh, I can't answer this one because I don't know if I've ever had it, but it keeps popping mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Is it Bolognese, Bolognese or Carbonara? Carbonara? Oh, Bolognese or Carbonara. Oh, man. I really like a good Bolognese sauce, which is um, just like a meat sauce, a, a red meat sauce. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I like tomato-based sauces versus like a creamy-based sauce. Um, but I mean, they're both good. If I could have, if I could have it my way, I would probably like mix the bolognese with the carbonara and make like a creamy rosé tomato sauce. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just that might really be a good. thing. <laughs> Bola, bolognese, bolognese, bolognese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bolognese. 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 Okay, yeah, I think mine is Dawn, so. Okay. I think mine's I'm close. Just... I think I'll just turn up the heat to get that skirt. Yeah. yeah, the skirt is honestly the hardest part. Yeah, I don't, I might have missed the mark on that, because. <laughs> it's okay, mine is definitely not looking 100 right now, so. But the dumplings look great. I am excited Yay! to bite into these bad boys. Ooh. Over here. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I screwed up the skirt. I think. Oh um, no. Oh yeah, I think I'll... it's just that one. It's just that one that's like kind of alone so and it's do I just wait world. for do I just wait for the rest to cook here? Yeah, it should, yeah. Or should, should I just... okay. Okay. Because I, I could just, like, try another type. Another thing is I didn't do, use the exact measurements, so... Yeah. It's um, all right. The skirt, like I said, is a little bit on the te more tedious side. But, yeah, so... I don't know if you can see, but... <gasps> oh, my gosh, that looks amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So the skirt I see is like what all... you mean by the same the same direction. Yeah, okay. yeah, like kind of in the same. I like, <laughs> I completely did leaf. not do that. Um, it's okay, but I see it's what you mean. It's still gonna now. taste just as good. It's gonna taste just as good. 
Ramen or pho? Do you eat Vietnamese food ever? Ooh, oh, I love, I love Vietnamese food. I have to go with pho, I think. Well, okay, I, I, yeah, I think pho. Because if we're talking about like ramen, like Japanese ramen, like I think sometimes it's just a little bit too heavy. Like it's very, very rich, the broth, which I love sometimes, but sometimes I just need a good pho. I totally agree. It's the yeah. best after a night out as well. Yes, it is so good. I think like, my um, skirt is developing, but I, how do you yeah, get Oh, to... I see the color. Okay, so, but it doesn't like move. Just should I oh. wait longer or what should I do? Try to like poke around with it on your, with your chopsticks or whatever you're cooking with, and then see if it starts like coming up on the edges a little bit, or is it sticking to the pan? It's sticking to the pan. <laughs> I oh, think I fudged man. up. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It should still no, it's not up. your it's, fault. It's... This is totally my fault. <laughs> but this is good to know. Now I can try to master this next time. Yeah. And use the exact, your... me use the exact measurements as well. Is your pan, is it a nonstick? Yeah. Oh, this one has That's a skirt. So... Oh, yay! <gasps> you got Whoa, one skirt. Oh, that looks so good. I okay. saw the, I kind of peeked at the bottom of it. It looks really good. That's so weird that it's stuck like that, you know, with the nonstick pan. Mm. Yeah, it's all well I didn't use the exact measurements, so Yeah, that might have that might have messed it up a little bit. But they still have looks, skirts. Still though. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. There you go. I've never put a skirt on a du well. I've never made dumplings before. Let's be honest. But <gasps> really, yeah. Wow, I am honored right now. <laughs> well, th thank you for showing me. These look amazing. <laughs> I like how it's gonna be crunchy on one side and like yes, uh, and like then like soft. Yeah, it's like chewy side. on the other side. Okay, I'm still getting skirts on these. I'm gonna take it. Awesome. Honestly, yeah, it's just it's just there for that extra like kind of crunch factor. So, mm -hmm. looks good. Hot. Whoops. Do you do a dipping sauce with these, or you just they don't need it? I mean, normally I would. I mean, we can like whip up one really fast. I could I just do. Like normally I'll, it, I'll do it like, I'll do one like really fast with um, like a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of rice vinegar, black pepper. That's like the most generic easy one that I let's, will do. Um, let's ask chat guys, should we make a dipping sauce or just eat it? You let us know. Well, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try mine right now with no dipping sauce. I'll wait. <laughs> You're not gonna try it? <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I feel like we have to try it together. Uh, everyone, most people are saying make a dipping sauce. Okay. Okay, we'll make one really fast. We'll do a okay. super, this is like one that I make super, super light. I'm hungry and I have to be out the door in five minutes type of hungry, um, type of dipping sauce I mean. So yeah, okay. just literally like equal parts or like maybe like two to one soy sauce to rice vinegar and then just like a couple things of black pepper, a couple of scrunches of black pepper and then that's it, so. Okay, soy sauce. I should have used something smaller, why did I? Okay. <laughs> soy sauce, rice vinegar. Mm-hmm. I already and I went pepper? and grabbed the rice vinegar. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is like a dipping sauce that my mom would make um, growing up. So I think it's just, you know, it has that little, has a salty, has a tangy, little black pepper for just a little extra. Um, I like this, it's simple. Very simple, I, very simple, I like simple. very good. Yeah, okay, so I have my dipping sauce. Same. Yay, okay. 
time for the taste test. I'm so hungry right now. Same. Did same, not same. eat dinner. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a really good Here we skirt. Go, guys. Taste test with the skirt. I'm gonna try Ooh. the first bite without the sauce and then. Yeah. So this is what mine looks mm. like on the bottom. Mmm. Hot, but so good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Yo, I wish you guys could be trying this right now. This might be the best if dumplings I... I've ever had. Yay! I can bring you guys to the screen. Um, but yeah, you kind of get that little like sweetness um, from the brown sugar and the Asian pear, and I think that really goes well. Um, yeah, I've never ever used Asian pear in a recipe before or a dish. Asian pear is really big in um, Korean cuisine because it's also used as like a like a meat tenderizer of some sorts. It makes the hmm. it makes meat like super juicy. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Oh my gosh. Kind of like how like pineapple, pineapple, um, pineapples and pineapple juice are used in a lot of like, in what, and what is it? Like, I think carne asada? Or no. It's something, because it also breaks down the, um, it also breaks down the proteins, the enzymes in the pineapple. That makes a lot of sense. This extra, mm -hmm. the skirt, I feel like it's now essential for all the dumplings I eat. Because usually you, when you eat pan fried yeah. dumplings, you do have a little crunch, but you don't have this type of crunch. Yes. Kind of adds so a little you, extra layer. Oh, for textural, sure. Textural. Uh... Dude, for sure. Guys, this was so easy to make and so yeah. delicious. Um, Teresa, thank you so much for showing me how to make this and sharing your recipe with all of us. And thank you answering for all those questions. Me. Yeah, of course. Anytime. This was those are a some lot tough questions. Yeah, yeah, there were some tough ones in there. <laughs> really, really tough. Alrighty, guys. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. This was quite a blast. Now I know how to make dumplings. Um, Yay! And good dumplings too, and the dumpling sauce. Like how this doesn't get any better than that. So uh, I want to say bye yep. to everyone. Any last words? Um, let's see. You are on TikTok. You're on Instagram, YouTube mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, YouTube, uh, like kind of, sort of, but g there, there's a channel there, so yeah, subscribe if you want. <laughs> yeah, subscribe for sure. Not if you want, do it. <laughs> Mostly yeah, on okay. TikTok it, and Instagram, though. So okay, make sure to find T Eats on all the platforms. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.